Okay, um, in uh, a video uh, entitled Integration by Parts, Part 4, uh, we have uh, evaluated uh, this integral uh, by applying parts twice and then turning it inside out. Um, we found that the answer is 1 on 5 e to the 2x uh, times um, 2 times sine x minus cosine x plus c. In this video, we're going to uh, show how to use complex numbers to evaluate integrals of this form, where you've got the exponential times uh, a sine or a cosine. So we're going to start by uh, recalling uh, the um, by recalling um, the Euler's formula um, for the exponential of uh, an imaginary quantity. So um, recall that e to the i x is cosine x plus i sine x. Um, and then further to this, um, so if we multiply both sides by e to the 2x, um, so this thing is going to be e to the 2x cosine x plus i e to the 2x sine x. Then, um, if we take, say, the imaginary part uh, of uh, this expression, so the imaginary part of this, so if we factor out x there, uh, this left hand side we can write as e uh, to the power 2 plus i x. If we do the imaginary part, that's just going to pick out this term here. It's going to be e to the 2x sine x, which is exactly the term we are trying to integrate there. So, um, What's going to happen is then it means we can write this uh, as the integral of the imaginary part of e to the 2 plus i x um, dx. Now the uh, we can um, swap the order of the taking the imaginary with the integral. <clears throat> so <clears throat> we can just do the integral of this. And then once we are done, we take the imaginary part that is still going to give us what we need. So for a moment, we're just going to focus on evaluating this integral here. And then once we have the solution or the integral, then we are going to take the imaginary part. And then the solution to that is going to be the integral of this. All right. So, um, let i <clears throat> be the integral of e to the 2 plus i x dx. And then, of course, uh, the integral of, uh, we already have uh, talked about this, integral of e to the ax dx is 1 over a e to the ax uh, dx plus c. So in this case, okay, let's just do it here. Uh, integral of e 
to the ax dx is 1 over a e to the ax plus c. In this case, a is 2 plus i. So this thing is going to be e to the 2 plus ix all over 2 plus i and then plus a constant. But um, we want to do the constant when we plug things back in uh, this um, expression there. So right now we need to write this so that we have got the real part and uh, the imaginary part so that we can extract the imaginary part. Um, if we write this again in this form, e to the 2x, e to the ix, so we're just tracing our steps back. So remember, we had this, and then we decided to write like that. So we're going back to this, and then we're going to go back again to that. So the e to the ix, we're going to write as cosine x plus i sine x all over 2 plus i. And then you're going to remember that in order for us to divide by 2 plus i, we multiply both numerator and denominator by the complex conjugate of 2 plus i. So we're going to multiply this by 2 minus i. In the denominator, we're going to have 2 plus i times 2 minus i. Then, when we multiply this by its complex conjugate, we just get x squared plus y squared. x is 2, or y is 1, so x squared plus y squared is going to be 2 squared plus 1 squared, which is just going to be a real number, because the whole point of uh, this, really, is to uh, remove any imaginary um, parts from the denominator, okay? Um, and then in the numerator, the first term times the first term is going to be real. The last term times the last term is going to be real again. And then the cross terms, so first and last, last and first, will be imaginary. So if we start with i sine times 2, then that's going to be uh, 2i sine x. Then the last and the first here is going to be minus i cosine x close brackets. Now, therefore, the imaginary part of this whole thing here, um, so we're just going to do it, imaginary part of i. So therefore, imaginary part of i it's just going to be e to the 2x over 5, which is this 5 here. This is the real part. That is the imaginary part. So that's going to be 2 sine x minus cos x. Okay. So remember, our i is just this bit here. So this integral is the imaginary part of i. So therefore, we have now the integral of e to the 2x sine x dx is actually this thing, plus c. So that's going to be e to the 2x over 5, 2 sine x minus cos x plus c which is exactly the same as the one we had found by integrating by parts twice and inverting right. 
thank you for watching hopefully the video has been useful uh, please do not forget to uh, hit the subscribe button like the video and uh, if you've got any questions on any steps that we've uh, taken uh, then you can place your questions and comments in the comment section thank you